Let's take a look at one of Workbench's native tools. It's the tool called uh, Filter. Um, it's this one just here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, filter a large batch of files. So here I have 19 files that were captured using DumpCap actually for uh, just a small group of users, but captured over a period of three days. And what I want to do is I just want to pick out one specific user talking to one particular web server. So let's look how we do that. So we highlight all the files, drag and drop them into the Object Explorer. And we get this pop up prompting us for a workbench workspace name. And I'm going to just call it filter test. And you can see that this has immediately created us the Object Explorer structure here in, in the Object Explorer. So uh, I don't need to do anything else now. I have a saved workspace called, um, as you can see, filter test, as it says up here in the top, top left. And now to perform a filter on these files, I could just pick out the individual files and drop them onto the work pad. Uh, that's quite permissible, um, and then I can do a filter from there. But rather than do that, I'm just going to filter the entire data set, which I can do in one step. So now I take the filter tool and I drop, drop that onto the work pad. And at this point, Workbench is scanning all of the files that we've dropped onto the work pad um, to extract conversation information from those files. So this takes around 45 seconds, I think it takes for these 20 files uh, or 19 files. And obviously I'll skip forward in the video because you don't want to sit here watching this and we'll pick up when it's finished. Okay, I was a bit ambitious with my 45 second claim. That looks as though that was around 90 seconds, but it's done quite a lot of work in that period of time. So um, let's just give ourselves a bit more room here. So now I'm going to select the address of the PC. I'll set the address of the PC by just left clicking on this filter icon here. And the one I'm interested in is 192.168.10.80. That is actually the address. We have to click the filter button here so that we uh, record that as being the setting. And you'll see that this is all uh, now changed. And over here, I will left click on this one and I choose 192, whoops, 192.168.3.78 is the one I'm interested in. Click filter again. And that gives me all of the conversations. So now I simply go down here and uh, select all of these so that I make sure that I pick, pick up each conversation in my filter. And now the next thing I want to do is uh, I know that the problem I had happened sometime between 1430 and 1500 on the 19th of April. So let's just slide this across to the 19th of April. I don't have to get this absolutely precise. I'll just get it as close as I can. I think that's good enough. And I, I'll leave the other one. It's, it's good enough. Um, and it's going to produce this merged output into this file here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually call this something different. Uh, this was a problem where Darren's PC hung, so uh, Darren hang, that will do. I'm going to open the merge file on completion, and now I'm going to actually filter all these files, merge them into one file called Darren hang, and then open it all with the click of one button. Now I actually showed you that in real time. I didn't skip forward any of the video there. And you can see that, uh, mainly because it's already extracted a lot of information actually, but it actually filters 20 files very quickly, or sorry, 19 files very quickly. So you can imagine if you had to individually go into each of those files and filter them and then merge, that would take you ages. 
So I hope that gives you some idea of how you can quickly filter and merge batches of files with Workbench.